Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, we're going to be installing a mod that I have not showed you how to install in a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, I only have two videos on this mod. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that I do have a dedicated Discord and a dedicated support team that is ready to go hands-on with you who, if you have any trouble with your LSP or GT5 whatsoever. I don't care if your computer is smoking. They can fix it, okay? <laughs> Seriously, guys. If you have any trouble with your LSP or uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just let me say this: putting your troubleshooting issues, your troubleshooting issues, in the comment section uh, of my channel is only going to pro prolong you getting your game fixed. I'm not saying this to be mean. Uh, you can comment whatever you like, but asking me to help you fix your game is only going to prolong it because YouTube does not notify me of a lot of my notifications anymore. Okay, so with that being said, guys, just save yourself some time. Go down the description and click the Discord link and get with my support team where we have six LSPDFR support channels awaiting for your arrival. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't forget to go subscribe to my second channel, CJ Farms, um, where I do farming simulator related content, if I can spit it out. Farming simulator related content. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video. All right, guys and girls. So today we're going to be installing a mod called Callout Manager. Um, now, I get a lot of questions about this mod, and for those of you that are wondering what this might be, this is a mod that allows you to pick specific callouts and go to them. So, for example, but keep in mind, guys, you have to have callout packs installed in order to pick callouts. You can't just install Callout Manager and you're going to have a bunch of callouts in your game automatically. Okay, so. For example, if you've never installed a callout pack and you install callout manager, the only callouts you're going to have in your game is going to be the vanilla callouts that came with LSPFR, okay? Uh, now, to make callout manager function properly, you are going to need a rage native UI.dll, an up to date rage native UI.dll, okay? Make sure that you have the callout manager and the RageNativeUI.dll, which you can usually get from Stop the Pit, Ultimate Backup, any of a JoJo mod usually has, um, well, I think Stop the Pit and Ultimate Backup has the Rage Native UI, but I am going to show you where to get it today. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, click the link down there for Callout Manager. It is going to bring you to this page right here. This is done by PeerGood. Uh, PeerGood, just want to tell you, man, uh, I have used your mod for so long so long and i love it it's it's just it's great i love it um and we just want to tell you thank you so much for your time and creativity in the lsp of our community ladies and gentlemen scroll down and you're going to click download this file right here okay you're going to click download right here you're going to click agree and download and it will now start downloading now just put this somewhere where you know how to get to it okay that's all that matters is if you know how to get to it all right move it on to the next one is going to be our rage native ui.dll now this is going to be the most recently up to date one what you want to do guys is you want to go down here and click rage native ui.zip just click that right there and it's going to start downloading. as you guys can see i already have it uh let's go ahead and close out of this window and you are going to need your grand theft auto 5 main directory now I am assuming if you are here watching my video that a majority of you know how to locate your main directory. If you do not, I will leave a link. You know what? I'll just go ahead and show you how to do it. Go to your file explorer and you want to go to this PC and you want to select the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto 5 on, okay? After that, you're going to select Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common, and then Grand Theft Auto 5. This is going to be the directory you want right here, all right? And we are now, let me grab my callout manager and pull it out, guys. My downloads here. Let me pull those out to my desktop, just like that. Let me separate if I can get them separated. All right, guys, so here's how we're going to do this. We are going to open up our callout manager, WinRAR. You are going to simply grab the plugins folder. You are going to grab it and drag it into your main directory okay just like that as you guys can see it i already have it i'm not going to overwrite it it probably won't tell you that because this is your first time installing it 
But if it's not and you're overwriting it for, for whatever reason, then just replace the files. Um, close out of that. Get rid of the shortcut. Um, oh, I really cannot stay when I hit the wrong button like that. Let me get rid of this, guys. Main directory back up. Open up your rage native UI.dll. Now, the only file you're going to need in here is your rage native UI.dll. That is it. You do not need anything else. If you will notice, this one says 812 of 2020. This is the most recently up to date rage native UI, okay? Now, what you want to do is grab the rage native UI.dll and you want to pull it into your main directory. Now, if you already have one installed, it's going to ask you to override it, okay? If it does, go ahead and override it. If you don't have one installed, it's not going to ask you anything. It's just going to drop in just like that. Now, where I already have one, I'm going to replace it, okay? All right, even though I have the most up-to-date. So let's close out of that. Let me close out of this and close out of this. Now, I'm going to take you guys into the game, and I'm going to show you exactly how Call Out Manager works. All right, guys and girls, so there was one small thing that I did forget to mention, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you go back into your main directory, okay? And we are going to navigate to plugins. We're going to navigate to LSPFR. And we are going to manipulate our um, INI file for uh, Callout Manager. Um, so Because if we don't, it's going to be taking a screenshot the entire time we're using our Callout Manager. And I will explain why in just a minute. So if you want to go into, you should be in Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins LSPFR. Let's scroll down and go to Callout Manager right here, Configuration Setting. Open that up. Now, if you will notice, guys, in yours, your menu toggle key is going to be set to F12 by default, okay? Now, notice how mine is set to F10, and I'm going to tell you why, because that F12 right there, every time you hit that F12 key, it's going to take a screenshot from your Steam, because Steam key for screenshot by default is F12. So, what you want to do is you want to go right here, and you want to highlight that, do I know it's a 2? And just put a number 0, okay, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to highlight this word none and hit control C as in Charles on your keyboard. Then go below here where it says menu toggle button equals none equals uh, whatever it says for you guys. This is for controller users. Okay. You want to hit control V highlight whatever that is right there. Highlight that whole thing up to the equal sign and hit control V as in Victor. And basically you want to type in the word none right there. And take out the controls right there okay now down here <clears throat> sorry about that guys at the bottom where it says set menu to close when a call out is selected I like setting this to true because I'll tell you why when it's set to true and as soon as you select a call out it closes the entire call out manager uh, if it's not set to true when you select a call out you're gonna have to back out of about three or four windows before you call close the call out manager so this way where it's set to true it's a lot easier. I do recommend setting it true, guys. If you made any changes, which I know you probably did, click File and click Save. Then close out. Go back to your main directory. Sorry about that, guys. I did want to tell you that before we went in the game. Uh, refresh your directory. Close out. And <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are loaded into the game, uh, aside from my game acting very strange right now and doing something it's never done before, uh, which it's got me in kind of like North Yankton mode. Um, I'll explain all that in here in a little bit. Anyway, guys, um, so what we want to do is once you're in the game, we are going to hit F10 for our callout manager or whatever key you set it to. All right. It's going to bring up your callout manager. Now, keep in mind, whatever callout packs you have installed into your game are going to show up, show up in your callout manager, okay? So, for example, if you have simple callouts installed, okay, that will show up. Now, if for some reason later down the line you decide you want to take out one of your callout packs, it will go out of your it won't be in your callout manager no more either uh, at all. It will not be in your callout manager either, okay? But if you add callout packs, they will add to your callout manager. So with that being said, again, hit F10 to pull it up. We are going to just select a random callout here. All right. And that's how it works, guys. My map is not showing right now. It's acting really weird. Like I said, I'm in North Yankton mode. You're going to uh, select the callout, and then you're going to accept it. All right. 
And that is that is pretty much how Call Out Manager works, guys. This is a pack from the Blue Ghost, but I am in North Yankton mode right now. It's wanting to start me in a new game. It started me in a new game, and then it, um, and then it brought me over to LSPFR. So it was really weird. I'm not really too sure why it's doing that. Uh, it said something about my memory was full, and then my, um. I don't know, but my memory's not so full. I think I know what it is. I think I'm not signing into my social club. Um, I think that might be the problem. We're going to go right here, guys. Uh, they are going to shoot their guns. Requesting backup. Assistance oh, guys, I cannot even select a weapon. I cannot even select a weapon. Weird. Copy that. We're moving right now. Dispatch, show me code 410-4128. All units. Code for no additional support needed. So you guys get the just of it of how it works. Um, I've got to get my game figured out here. Again, hit the F10 key to pull up your callout manager. You can literally go into any callout pack you want. Hit the enter key. And like I said, when you select a callout, it's going to close that callout manager for you immediately, just like that, okay? See that? So that's pretty much how callout work callout manager works, guys and girls. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you have not already and smash that like button for me. Also, make sure you click the bell and click all so you always know when I post new videos. Um, ladies and gentlemen, also come subscribe to my, my second channel, CJ Farms, in which I will link at the end of this video. Um, <clears throat> I hope this was some clarification for everybody as there were a lot of questions about Callout Manager. A criminal resisting arrest in Dispatch, show me 10-6. Four, ten, six. That way I don't get any calls. But I hope this cleared up some questions and answers uh, for those who were wondering about why your callout manager wasn't working. It's just simply because when you run callout manager, you have to have an up-to-date RageNativeUI.dll. That's all there is to it. And like I said, guys, it took me the longest time to even realize that myself. So, uh, you know, uh, like I said, guys, if you ever have any questions for me, you're more than welcome to ask me on my channel. <clears throat> what I was saying in the beginning of my video about those who have troubleshooting uh, questions, yes, you would be better off um, going to my description, click on my Discord link, and getting my support team. It's going to be a lot quicker for you. However, if you have common questions about the game, I do not mind answering them for you if I get the notification at all. Um, but we have uh, many, many channels inside the Discord dedicated to things just like that. We have one in there called Questions Answered. Where you can go in there and ask all kinds of questions and someone in there will have the knowledge that you need that you're looking for and answer your question but again you are more than welcome to put your questions on my on my comment section as long as they are not troubleshooting co uh, questions like i said it's going to be quicker for you if you're having issues with your game to just join my discord with that being said guys and girls i love you all so much uh, again subscribe like share click the bell click all <clears throat> and sub to my second channel, CJ Farms. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. I'm going to head over to North Yankton and see what in God's name is going on. Or as, as, uh, as uh, what is it, Southern Baptist would say it, in God's name. Take care, guys. I will see you all in the next video.